What is the major product in this reaction? Well, let's start by analyzing our reagents. We have an alkene that is going to be reacting with bromine in the presence of the solvent, which in this case is going to be methanol. And since we have a halogen plus an alcohol reacting with our alkene, this reaction is going to be an alkoxy halogenation reaction. The first step in this reaction is the interaction of bromine with our alkene, where alkene is going to be a nucleophile and bromine is going to be an electrophile, giving us the corresponding halonium ion, which we are now going to open with our methanol from the more substituted side, giving us the following intermediate, which, after the deprotonation step, going to give us the final product, which is a pair of diastereomers. Normally, we would have a pair of enantiomers in cases like that. However, because we already have a chiral atom in this molecule and we are creating two more chiral atoms, the new chiral atoms are going to be flip-flopping while the old chiral atom stays as is. So, because of that, we have a pair of diastereomers rather than a pair of enantiomers. Pretty cool, right? 